the sound of the south. And all the music you love. Thank you very much, Captain Anne. Staying with the news this morning, let's get some reaction now to one of the big news stories of the morning uh, that you just heard Alan mention in the headlines. Single headline Ofsted reports for state schools in England are to be scrapped, a change prompted by the death of the head teacher Ruth Perry, who took her own life in January last year after her school was downgraded from outstanding to inadequate. Her sister, Julia Walters, has welcomed the change and says the previous system put huge pressure on school leaders. It was that feeling, not just that she'd had the terrible shock and trauma of a completely unexpected bad Ofsted, but that she was still anticipating the public humiliation that would come with that. Now, Gary Spracklin, the head teacher of the Prince of Wales School in Dorchester, has been vocal about this subject previously and joins me this morning. Good morning, Gary. Morning, Carl. Good to speak to you. And uh, nice to speak to you again, Gary. Uh, let's get your reaction to this news, please. Uh, well, for me, it's great news to wake up to this morning. This is a huge step in the right direction, and it's very much long overdue. Um, I think it shows a serious sign of intent from Bridget Phillips and about resetting the relationship between government, Ofsted and schools. Um, and I think it will really improve the well-being of teachers and leaders, which is essential to their recruitment and retention moving forward. Now, what kind of pressure, Gary, did the single headline system put on school leaders? Well, I just think it was always a blunt tool that um, never did justice to how complex a school is. Um, I think when you try to sum up things by just one word, you miss so much of the detail. And I think the changes, that, well, the instant change that's come in today and the changes that are proposed over the next year to move towards a report card system will ensure greater transparency and ultimately improve schools um, in a much um, more fairer and rounded and collaborative way. Now, inspections will continue without a headline until a system of school report cards can be introduced from September 2025. Ministers say the new approach will provide parents with a full and comprehensive assessment. I wonder, Gary, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I think it's, you know, change takes time, and I think it's good to see the government not waiting um, into the, you know, we're right at the start of the academic year here. They're making the change at the earliest possible opportunity after their election um, and to make it fair to schools. Um, I think that, you know, the system as it stands still needs that reform, but that reform is promised. And I think what's important now over the next year is also to engage with the profession, with parents, with all stakeholders to ensure that we get in September 2020 september 2025 the rounded transparent system that we want look no one's ever advocated for a, a lack of accountability for schools accountability is important but it needs to be done with the profession not as an aside um as a step removed from the profession gary always good to speak to you thank you very much for joining us this morning gary spracklin there the head teacher of the prince of wales school in dorchester reacting to the news that single headline offset reports for state schools in england and wales are to be scrapped we've got more on that story on the bbc news website and app let's take a look at what's happening